and I think that this will be controversial. I think Raila Odinga has never wanted to be president. He's in the money making business. Exactly. Yes. Works for them all the time and to the to the to a point that they they become shameless in what they do. Yes. Kalonzo has no shame in lifting a pay bill number as long as there is 10 billion for him in the cut. At Mimi I have been registered in Nairobi all my life. What am I doing in Kajiado? Uh-huh. What am I doing in Isiolo? Yes. So this data that Azimio is collecting. Yes. You better be careful yes. because we'll be going to elections. Yes. And they'll wait for the last day. You know there's a deadline exactly. for, for transferring. Yeah. That is when you are transferred. Yes. Unapata you are born and raised in uh, Kajiado. Yes. You are now voting in Siaya. Umeenda yes. kuvotia uh, uh, Master Luta Orengo. What is what is my <laughs> my name doing in Loitoktok? Raila ni kama ame in his in his reasoning yes. ameibiwa sana. Yeah. Na sasa ni wakati ya kurudisha mkono. Yes. Whether it is him or Kalonzo. Yes. Wamesema hii watu tumewapangia. Yesterday I got a very interesting call from a friend of mine who has joined us here on studio. So basically Raila Odinga launched this website called tumechoka.org. The whole mantra of this website is to collect signatures to send president william ruto home or at the very least to delegitimize his government but we are getting reports that there's something peculiar going on with this website and that is why we've invited my good friend here mr blessing ndio mlikuwa mnasema tiktok saya campaign <laughs> oh yes and uh, 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 state house uh, let me tell you things went for us mulama because uh, uh. <laughs> It is not as we expected but uh, it is politics and anything can happen in politics so yes. you have to be ready and uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket in one basket or else you be rudely frustrated <laughs> because yeah uh, many people who got attached to that momentum of uh, the politics then after politics the rewarding period yeah. that never came rudisha mkono yeah rudisha mkono <laughs> but some of us we are doing it willingly out of their heart because yes. we, we we are supporting the ideas of the people that we we were campaigning for and i think that's the best attitude because at the end of it all yeah ato sipo itwa kwani ni lazima uitwe yeah i've seen people getting angry mimi sijaitwa mimi sijaitwa that yeah. is not the whole point yeah. you worked to install someone is there true game set match and uh, i think it is an environment it has been set there because of lack of objectivity yes uh, in a country where black and white is the only color red seems as if it's a crime yes well said because in the last election if we can define the black and white we can say azimio and uh, kenya kwanza, kwanza. Yeah. Uh, now after elections if you decide to be neutral that is red a new color that is objective now Yes. The, the people I was, I was campaigning for by the grace of god they got uh, the, the, seat. the seat all right yes. now let me sit back watch and correct them from afar because number one, automatically i become the constitutional employer of that person all right yes so now what what is going on with this uh, website first of all let us go back to the the real issue that is affecting the country sometimes that is why i was saying uh, being objective is a sin in kenya sometimes when you listen to rao mm speaking on real issues sometimes he makes sense sometimes more often than not yeah yeah but when it comes to execution my friend <laughs> two different things yes. because uh when he said he was uh, launching that campaign of collecting signatures mm. uh, it was intended to block the finance bill that was the, blocking the finance bill was the original goal intent yes all right uh-huh. Now the form uh, the, the website and the form have been uh, formulated and all the structures to submit your details and what not but it has come in a different form. Now we are mm-hmm. removing uh, his excellency <laughs> William Ruto and uh, his excellency Rigathi Gashagwa from office. That is what the website now says. But wamebadilisha w- goalpost. Yes, tulikuwa tuna aim pale sasa we are moving this way exactly and and the, the funny thing is they put two goals uh, goal posts strategically mm. adjacent to each other uh, but one is removable which one is removable removable this one of the finance bill we can we can rubbish that because our people yeah. have, have that spirit of uh, this government is illegitimate so which is easier <laughs> which is easier to push the finance bill or the illegitimacy of the government i think kwamona this second one is more sensational they can mine more signatures exactly yes because uh, 
politics uh, are driven by either selling fear or selling hope. Now, that website reminded me of the Cambridge Analytica. That company had so many scandals uh, of manipulating data. Okay. When you get hold of people's data, you are able to do anything. Basically. Do anything. And nowadays, people are targeted through tailor tailor made adverts. Ah. You will wake up t- uh, tomorrow in the morning. You don't know this text where it's coming from. It is from a, an, a weird uh, code, SSD code. Yes. Subconsciously, you will read and you will be like, "Okay, I didn't subscribe to this service, but somehow I've got the message what they are saying." Subconsciously, because yes. they've targeted you. They, they've targeted you. What Cambridge Analytica used to do. Mm. Uh, uh, unfortunately for them, they accessed more sensitive data, such as uh, your Facebook messages, uh, text messages, messages of people you follow on social media, the kind of conv- conversations you have. They so based on what you're saying, yeah, this is more of uh, data mining. Exactly. And it is geared towards politics. Of course. From when I looked at the website when you called me, yeah. there's something fishy I'm seeing there. Yeah. The collection of data. Yeah. Name, yes. ID number, yes. The your age, yes. place you were born, and yes. your physical signature, yes. Constituency and ward. All th- now, why would Raila be collecting that? The reason, in yeah. my opinion, yes, there is a window yes. as we go towards elections, true, whereby you can go and check if you're even registered. Yes, you go confirm. Yes. Put yes. your fingerprint. Ah, yeah, you are there. Mm. Also, in that same window, mm. you can transfer yourself. Exactly. If you are fearing post-election violence in yes. Nairobi, Unenda Nyumbani Moranga, yes. Kisumu, you register there. Exactly. Now, there are so many people I saw in the last election. Yes. You know, me, I was going there as a, as a candidate. Yes. But as you're there, you are hearing other problems. Yes. Because of background. Yeah. At Mimi, I have been registered in Nairobi all my life. What am I doing in Kajiado? Uh-huh. What am I doing in Isiolo? Yes. So this data that Azimio is collecting. Yes. You better be careful. Yes. Because we'll be going to elections. Yes. And they'll wait for the last day. You know, there's a deadline exactly. for, for transferring. Yeah. That is when you are transferred. Yes. Unapata, you were born and raised in uh, Kajiado. Yes. You're now voting in Siaya. Umenda yes. kuvotia uh, Master Luta Orengo. What is, what is <laughs> my, my name doing in Loitoktok? And in fact, the sad thing, yeah. if they move those uh, details on yes. the last day, exactly, you will know when you go to vote. Yes. And you're Utenda like... Kupiga unambio, you're not here. You're not here. So you remember, you go to a classroom, A yes. to B, yes. C to E. Yes. When you enter to your classroom, unambiwa bwana. Exactly. And that that is one <laughs> tactic of like, when you can't get something, you sabotage the possibility of someone else is getting it. Yes. Like, for example, me and you are competing for a girlfriend somewhere. Mm-hmm. Nikiona siweza ni kabisa. Uh, your, compe- your competition, no, yes. no, 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 kishinda. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, what I'll do uh, is sabotage the process. Either poison the girl or injure you. Kila mtu abaki zero. Yes. No victor. Because the reason why I'm taking that uh, route is because of the number. The number they are saying. The number they want to collect. 10 million. 10 million In signatures. fact, it's 15. Yes. Uh, now, uh, last election, 14 million people voted. You that, can imagine. That is three quarters of the total voter register. Now, the fishy thing about that form of data collection, and I was saying, um, mm. is some kind of data harvesting so that they can manipulate the way you perceive things. Unanza yes. took one messages, uh, the news that the, all of a sudden there is a service that is uh, spreading news mm. uh, through SDD. And the news that they are spreading is like, for instance, uh, there is yes, it's got in a scandal of ABCD. What will that make you think? This government is corrupt. And you know why it will work? Yeah. Amongst these 15 million, yes. you'll find a paltry 7 million yes. are not registered voters. Exactly. They are now coaching and yes. talking to the would-be registered voters exactly. in 2027. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. Because there is always that disadvantage of... Um, and that is why in Azamanga there will never be complete voter apathy. Yes. Never. Because in a, in a, in a window of five years, mm-hmm. there will be five million people who have never voted again. Every year there is a new one million voters. 
who, yes. who are excited nimechukua id nimechukua kura they want that feeling of voting so they will never be voter apathy i can say like okay i have voted once my will has been thwarted or messed with i will never vote again yes there's another person in high school waiting to vote to feel how it feels and that uh, is a line mara ya kwanza exactly uh. that is how they are they, they are planning to target in my opinion mm. because when you check in the website once you submit the the, the your your data and the phone number mm-hmm. they are telling you to tick the box to accept communication yes i saw that so what are they communicating if i may ask and the reason why i'm saying this thing is fishy mm. the the highest form of law in the land had already rubbished their claims uh the court of east africa can never resent to them uh, now where will these signatures go to i would say in my opinion either uh they are targeting the 2027 campaign strategy because if your viewers uh can take their time and listen to the story of the cambridge analytica that targeted advertising or targeted mm. marketing changes the narrative and there was a documentary an expose actually done yes. on how they do things and uh, let nobody lie to you that if a system is against anybody that anybody can sit on that seat that's the story for another day to save time now i think kenyans need to be careful on where they feed their data yes especially your id number anything else that can trace you personally or can trace your 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 government footsteps yeah i think that website is is fishy it is very okay it's fishy but very obvious what they're doing yes they're trying to collect data to man, to engage with the electorate exactly and possibly to manipulate the elections exactly. in unajua by the way mm. Raila ni kama ame in his in his reasoning yes. ameibiwa sana. Yeah. Na sasa ni wakati ya kurudisha mkono. Yes. Whether it is him or Kalonzo, yes. wamesema hii watu tumewapangia. So I think there is something they are planning but in all honesty, yes. it is their right. You will go to the website, submit your submit data, submit your data and your daughters and yes. your wives, it's your business. Yes. But usilie ukijipata uko registered yes. no tok tok. Yes. In, in 2026 <laughs> when you start seeing funny funny messages of I don't know what news website telling you <laughs> ABCD yes. giving you analysis of how the government has been corrupt and what not and you never subscribe to a service in your life imagine don't don't ask what happened you are submitting data right now subconsciously and it's all good it's yes. it's within your rights right to use your mobile phone the way you like mm. also something f- uh, for people to ponder on and I think that w- this will be controversial I think Raila Odinga has never wanted to be president. He's in the money making business. Exactly. Yes. He's in it for the dough. I give this to him. There is nobody who can do opposition the way Raila does. You know, he's made so much money. Na ikitu imesemwa sana. There's this audio of Esther Pasaris requesting 1 million from Mike Sonko. Yes. Because they were invited to see Raila yes. and they had to go with something. Yes. That is one money making avenue. Exactly. Another one Every time is on the ballot yes. people are donating billions. Exactly. Wanatumia kidogo ile inabaki. Yes. Ya, ya kurudishia mwili shukrani. And, and let me tell you <laughs> and the third one ni maandamano. They are fundraising as of, we speak. Of course. They are collecting signatures, data yes. mining yes. and fundraising. Exactly. And, and and it works for them all the time and to the to the to a point that they they become shameless in what they do. Yes. Kalonzo has no shame in lifting a pay bill number as long as there is 10 billion for him in the cut of course i will lift it. <laughs> even if i am kalonzo mimi yes now my name turns from blessing to kalonzo mm. i will lift it because <laughs> there is 10 billion on the table yes they have mastered the craft of being at the masses of those who emotionally attached uh, attach to them and they have found a way of monetizing it and it works for them all the time These guys are rich they are making money. everything people do they have to make money exactly imandamano is see for free yeah, there it is, is not for free there is something there or do you think <laughs> do you think Raila Odinga is so idle that the only thing he thinks is maandamano ah kuna sometimes even though uh, 
when it comes to execution of some ideas that he has he, he does it in a shoddy and shaky way people should not assume he is stupid uh, what what we can say uh, from there now people should be very careful or when, when it comes to feeding their data because um, these things are used to manipulate elections thank you for coming through mr blessing yes now as we close the video yeah what do you usually do professionally i know there's a yeah. company this ceo ameweka mahali yes i i, I run uh-huh. a small uh, media company called db studios yes what we actually do is we work with small businesses uh, uh, when it comes to online marketing yes i mean the creative side of things i okay. i write scripts for small videos i curate content according to uh, your your kind of audience mm-hmm. um we we sit down with your team we we understand your customers and we curate videos that will target those customers we make videos that are engaging uh, yes. that that will boost and increase conversion um, in your sales or uh, bring mm. notoriety if that is the word uh, and also do you guys do weddings uh, funerals corporate events yes baby showers vitukaizo we are an all round Uh, company yes i have my partners we do live streaming uh, we do wedding coverages we also do podcast recording yes for uh, aspiring creators uh do photo shoots yes actually i have a very huge background in photography that is actually one of my favorite things to do so um what are your contacts your number your email there's so many people who are looking yes. for such services my number is 0716 594200 uh, my social media my personal social media is daddy blessing everywhere and uh, you can follow our company social media uh, at uh, db studios 254 on instagram and db studios uh, on facebook so yeah, thank you so much guys we'll see you next time adios thank you for choosing david wafula as your primary news platform We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.